were talking a little bit about replacement females and development, we really wanted to take a chance to talk about nutrition. Um, nutrition, nutrition in um, first calf heifers is really important. Um, they do require a higher plane of nutrition than the rest of your herd typically um, to get them fully developed and ready for breeding um, in a timely manner. Um, the, the best way to do this is to kind of separate them from the rest of the herd. A natural time to do that is around weaning. Um, you're already going to have calves up and you can get them nice and separated in their own pasture um, and get them comfortable. Um, those heifers over from the time that they're weaned until the time that you're trying to get them bred for the first time and have that calf, they have a lot to go through. Um, so you want to make sure that those heifers have what they need out there, um, even if you're having to supplement some to get them um, to that right plane of nutrition. Um, so your general rule is trying to get them to about 65% of their mature weight at breeding time. Um, and that sounds like just a funny number to throw out at you. Um, but Dr. Kim Mullinex put together a really good ACES publication on nutritional management for beef replacement heifers. This will give you an idea of how to estimate that 65% of mature weight. Um, so as that, what this uses is um, like a month, your weight um, at, that, at that age, and then your hip height at that time. And it allows you to estimate what that mature weight of that animal is going to be um, that allow you to get to kind of that 65% number at breeding time. Um, your, your ultimate goal is to breed at 12 to 14 months of age and for that heifer to have her first calf around the age of two. Um, in order to try and get to that 65% mature weight between weaning and breeding, um, you're going to try and aim for a pound to a pound and a half of gain per day um, over that time. This is usually pretty easily accomplished out on regular perennial grasses um, that we have in Alabama. Um, there will be times that you have natural uh, gaps in forages um, based on seasons. You could run into some drought and things like that that will require you to supplement. Um, but also, even if they don't really require a supplement, if they're still gaining that pound to pound and a half a day, it will really help you on the marketing side um, to kind of hand feed them. I mean, a couple of five gallon buckets will really help you out in the long run as far as marketing those heifers. Um, you saw in some of the videos earlier, walking through those heifers, those heifers are really calm and docile. Um, th those heifers are really what people are looking for. You don't want something real crazy that you're gonna bring home and have to worry about. So a couple of five gallon buckets and getting those heifers up, even when they don't really maybe need a supplement, um, just to kind of get them used to people, having people out in the pasture, um, even having different people that don't feed them every day coming out there. Um, and just walking around those heifers really gets them comfortable with having folks out in the field with them. Um, you also want to make sure that those heifers are on a quality mineral program. Don't just get the cheapest mineral you can find. Um, a quality mineral will save you um, in the long run and get those heifers where you need them to be. By the time you're ready for calving, you're really trying to aim for a body condition score of about a six. Um, this will also help you in marketing um, because you want those heifers to look nice and full um, and you can fully expect them to lose a full body condition after they have that calf and they're trying to, they have the calf for the first time, they've never gone through that before, they're suddenly milking and having a calf at their side, and then you're asking them to get rebred. So if you have them at a BCS of six, about that time of calving, um, then they'll be ready to do all that for you and get rebred and get ready for that next calf. Um, on the marketing side of that, if you're going to some of these heifer sales um, and you're trying to market those heifers in those sales, you will notice that those heifers are a little bit heavier than a body condition score of six. And those that are a little bit heavier typically sell a little better. Now you don't want to over condition those calves where they can't lose that weight before calving because you can have issues with calving um, if you get those heifers too big um, and they can't lose that weight after that sale. So trying to aim a little bit higher than a six um, will make those heifers look real full and hopefully get you some money back um, if you're going through those heifer sales. So making sure that you may have these heifers at the right plane of nutrition um, will really set you up for long-term reproductive success um, and get you on the right track um, to keeping those heifers in your herd for a long time.